Hi everybody, today is uh, Wednesday, February 11th, and um, today we're talking about citing and documenting sources for your paper. The main, um, there are several reasons why um, all external research sources, such as in your case the interview and also the websites that you use to get information about your interview subject, should be um, formally cited and documented using an established citation uh, system. The reasons for citing sources are not so much um, mechanical, in other words, they're not really about just following some randomly established mechanical rule of writing, but rather about um, achieving your goals as a writer and presenting yourself in a way that is credible and trustworthy so that your readers can um, see you as someone that, whose work they should read and trust. There are several reasons for um, citing and documenting sources formally using a citation system of some kind. The first reason is um, that citing sources uh, helps you avoid uh, plagiarism. Obviously, when you are using somebody else's information, you need to give credit to the source of that information. You cannot pretend that um, the information that you borrowed from a source is actually yours. And uh, citing a source formally in the paper, as well as at the end of the paper in the work cited list, in case of the MLA format, for example, helps you accomplish that. The second important goal of um, source citation is um, helping yourself uh, establish your own credibility as a writer. Clearly, if your readers uh, see that you carefully and meticulously cite and document all the sources that you use, they will understand that you have done your homework, so to speak, and that you know what you're talking about in your paper, and uh, will uh, thus be more likely to see you as a credible, trustworthy author. The third important reason is to give your readers the opportunity to find out more information about your sources and to learn more about the topic on which you're writing. For example, if you um, discuss the rhetoric of science, as you do in this paper, and you bring in some scientific controversy about which there is a range of opinions, and you cite a source that discusses those opinions, some of your readers may be um, willing or may want to find out more about that uh, controversy and uh, giving them information about the sources from which you get your information for the paper will allow them to do that by looking it up in the library or on the internet or wherever that source may have come from. And um, uh, finally, last but not least, uh, citing sources formally using an established uh, citation system is a convention of academic discourse because academic discourse depends on uh, responsible work resources and um, one of the uh, elements of that responsible work with sources is uh, formal acknowledgement of any research, external research sources that a writer uses. Now I want to talk a little bit about the different systems that um, exist for citation and documentation. Uh, there are several systems, several established systems for citing and documenting sources. There is MLA, the Modern Language Association system, which is used in the humanities primarily. There is the um, APA system, American Psychological Association, which is used in the social sciences primarily. There is a Chicago uh, style, and there are several other styles that are used in various scientific journals, for example. Because uh, we are in the humanities in this class, we will be primarily interested in the MLA style, and uh, it is the MLA style that we will be using to cite and document uh, sources in uh, this and other essay that you will write in this class. The different citation systems uh, differ in the kinds of information that they uh, privilege, that they present to the readers, um, and um, those choices were made by the authors of these systems based on the purpose and the audience for whom um, a particular write written work is produced. The MLA system, uh, which again we will be using in this class, um, privileges uh, the following information. The author's name and, uh, when available, the page number um, on which the information cited in the paper appears. Um, there is a little bit more to that. There is There are other kinds of information that are needed, which we will cover in the rest of this tutorial. And um, um, in the rest of this tutorial, I'd like to um, show you, demonstrate to you how to cite uh, various sources in MLA specifically the kinds of sources that we will be using in this first paper, and that is the um, interview that you conducted, and also the websites that um, you may have used to get information about your interview subject. So, uh, um, if you have any questions at the end of this, please let me know, and um, watch the rest of the tutorial, and again, let me know if you have any questions.
in order to be useful uh, for you as the writer and for your readers, every citation in uh, MLA style or any other style needs to have two parts. The first part is the so-called index citation, where you briefly mention the source of your information, and uh, you put certain kinds of um, information in parentheses at the end of the sentence or at the end of the paragraph. And we'll look at some examples on how that is done. The so-called end-of-paper full citation contains more information about your source, such as the uh, full title, the author's name, the publisher, the year of publication, and so on. And um, having that information allows your reader to um, look up your source if they um, choose to do so, and to find out the source of your research and maybe learn a little bit more about your topic. So one thing to remember, when you cite sources, you need two parts. You need the in-text citation and you need the full information at the end of your paper. Uh, different citation systems uh, include slightly different types of information in both. We will look at MLA here in this tutorial because MLA is the citation system that we are using in this class. So um, check out the following um, examples and um, later on let me know if you have any questions.